is the world's oldest tourist destination and is one of the most popular today. Incredible temples and pyramids in this African country have fascinated visitors for millennia. Egypt's natural beauties are a big draw for tourists, even though most visit the country's historic sites. Beach resorts and coral reefs are popular vacation spots along the Red Sea coast. An oasis with freshwater springs can be reached after a long journey across the Sahara. A substantial number of visitors have stopped visiting Egypt since the 2011 revolution and the subsequent counter-revolution. This has made it possible to enjoy Egypt's 2023 attractions in peace. And it is also now possible to be the only person inside a pyramid. Number 1. Hergada Haggadah is a beachside vacation town in Egypt, conveniently located 6 hours rough bus ride from Cairo. As a more appealing substitute for Sharm El Sheikh and Dahab, it has quickly become one of Egypt's most popular vacation spots. That's to be expected given Haggadah's attractive climate, abundant beaches, and other favorable features. This formerly sleepy fishing hamlet is now a world's famous vacation destination with hundreds of 5-star hotels around the beach. Divers flock to this part of the Red Sea because of the abundant of beautiful coral reefs offshore. Snorkeling, windsurfing, and jet skiing are a few of the many other popular water activities. Eastern Europeans, particularly Russians, go to Haggadah by the hundreds of thousands annually. Many visitors plan their trip to include stops in other popular Nile Valley destinations like Luxor. Number 2. Alexandria Alexandria, Egypt's second largest metropolis and a major port on the Mediterranean, is a perfect spot. The city, founded in 331 BC by Alexander the Great, was once the center of global trade. Egyptian pharaohs, including Cleopatra, governed from Alexandria until the country's defeat at the hands of Rome in 30 BC. The city became known as a hub for culture and learning while the Romans ruled. The Alexandria National Museum houses artifacts from Alexandria's rich past. Over 1,800 objects from Greek Roman antiquity to the Coptic and Islamic periods are shown in the museum's chronological galleries. The tall lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, was the city's most recognizable landmark in ancient times. The earthquake swept the lighthouse and the old city into the ocean. Large stones and sculptures have been discovered by scuba divers and may still be seen on the ocean floor. Number 3. Saqqara Saqqara, the greatest archaeological site in Egypt, was named after the Memphite deity of the dead because it was a cemetery for Memphis for thousands of years. This makes it a location of several ancient Egypt tombs and burial sites, which are remarkable in their own right. The oldest pyramid in the world, the Step Pyramid of Djoser, is located at Saqqara and is the site's main attraction. When the gates open, you may climb a wooden ramp to the top of the pyramid for excellent views of the Nile. Be bold and try a random door here and there. You never know what kind of secrets might be hiding behind the ones that are unlocked. Also to be noticed are the amazing reliefs at the Mastaba of T and the Pyramid of Teti. Number 4. Siwa Oasis Over the last several years, Siwa Oasis has become a preferred vacation spot. Visitors go to Siwa to relax in the city's numerous natural springs, wander through acres of palm trees, and discover the city's Greco-Roman and old mud-built fortifications. There are several springs with bubbling water. Cleopatra's bath made of stone is a major attraction. A more private pool lies on an isolated island in the middle of Lake Siwa. Fatness Spring is accessible through a tiny causeway. The cafes are cozy and inviting in this sleepy town of 23,000 inhabitants. The community hookah is a popular gathering spot for locals and tourists to drink and smoke. Visitors can experience the city's distinctive culture and try local dishes and olives by making a trip to the marketplace. Number 5. Sharm El Sheikh There's more to do in this historic fishing community than lie on the beach all day. Sharm El Sheikh is one of the greatest places to go scuba diving in the world. It is also known as a city of peace due to its role in hosting several international peace meetings. There is incredible marine life to be seen when snorkeling or scuba diving in the reefs of Tyrant Island and Ras Muhammad National Park. Flying in and laying low is easy, but those seeking excitement may do so as well at this destination. Sharm El Sheikh, located on the southeastern extremity of the peninsula, serves as a gateway to the desert where tourists may see traditional Bedouin life and climb Mount Sinai, a biblical site famous for its breathtaking dawn vistas. Number 6. Dasher 
Notable structures including the Bent Pyramid built in a unique orientation by Pharaoh Snifiru and the Red Pyramid which has distinctive red coloration. Having neither stairs nor curves, the Red Pyramid is often considered to be the earliest real pyramid in Egypt. In addition to the Bent Pyramid, the Amenemhat III Black Pyramid is a site that can be seen from its base. The structure is not a pyramid and cannot be accessed by the public, instead it is a mysterious mount of black rock. Number 7. Aswan Aswan is home to some of Egypt's most alluring scenery. North of Khartoum, the Nile narrows into a succession of small white water rapids interrupted by rocky islands, all of which are overlooked by granite cliffs. When ancient Egypt was at its peak, it served as a crossroads to Africa and as a home to a sizable Nubian population. The Nubian Museum provides insight into these people by preserving artifacts and information that would have otherwise been lost in a Nubian flood. The numerous obelisks of Luxor were carved from granite quarried in Aswan and transported to Luxor. Some of these incomplete obelisks are invisible in the city today, including the world's biggest ancient obelisk in the south of Aswan. Number 8. Cairo. The Egyptian Museum in Tara Square is a must-see for any history buff since it houses priceless items from ancient Egypt including mummies and Tutankhamun's riches. The city's oldest mosques are also cultural treasures. The Ibn Tulun Mosque built in the 9th century when Cairo was the capital of the Fatimid Empire is the city's oldest mosque. When you've had your fill of Cairo's ancient sites, nothing will give you a better introduction to modern Egypt than diving headfirst into the city's bus street life. Visit the bustling Kanal Kalili marketplace, relax with a shisha at a local awaz, or get away from the city's heat on a felucca tour down the Nile on a classic Egyptian sailing boat. Number 9. Luxor Exactly a millennium after the Great Pyramids were built, Egypt's new kingdom began, and the capital was relocated from Memphis to the southern city of Thebe. Thebes grew to become Egypt's cultural and political center after being enriched by gold from the deserts of Nubia through the Nile. When lighted at night, the Luxor Temple is a sight to see. The west bank across the Nile is where you'll find the whitewashed Valley of the Kings dotted with honored tombs, pits, and burial chambers decorated with vibrant murals. The admission fee covers seeing several tombs, however seeing the one that houses King Tutankhamun's mummy will cost you extra. Number 10. Giza Necropolis The three largest pyramids at Giza are tombs dedicated to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Khufu, Khafre, and Minkura. When it came to the time to bury their wives and royal family members, they constructed several smaller pyramids around the region. If you're willing to shell out some additional cash, you really can go into the Great Pyramid of Khufu. You could even take a camel ride out into the desert and snap a picture with all the pyramids in the backdrop, and then go to the Sphinx and pose for the stereotypical kissing shot with the Sphinx. Take advantage of the pyramid sounds and light show if your hotel is located near Giza for the night. That's right. It's exactly what it sounds like, but it's a fantastic way to see the Great Pyramid in a new light. The official light display requires admission fees, however, you may enjoy the sunset and the spectacle free from the adjoining pizza balcony. Would you pay a visit to the land of the pharaohs? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.